Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, uh, Mr. Northwestern Brotherhood Lover. But right now, we're doing some salvaged metal. Um, metal salvage is easy to come by. Twisted scraps of metal are common as dirt in the way, some protruding from buildings buried in the earth like weeds, and strewn across streets like rubbish. Salvaging the metal in our immediate area will provide us with more resources for our equipment. Um, let's see. Salvage equipment, or salvage electronics. Salvaging electronics is much more difficult than salvaging metal. In part due to the delicate nature of most electronics, it's best pulling the wiring and circuitry from radios, robots, and broken energy weapons will provide us with more scrap electronics for future projects. But right now, we are currently trying to get more divisions, trying to build ourselves up, even though we've never really made any more divisions since, I think, the end of last episode. But we're, we want to go to war with the troll worms because they will try to beat the crap out of us eventually. So we don't want that. And we want to beat the crap out of them. So, let's see, we have a lot of unassimilated peoples, whatever. Um, oh, how much money do we get? <clears throat> not a ton. And, I, and I'd rather do the bases here, or the, not bases, the stuff over there. Get some goods. Yeah, we could use more stability as well. Go and do that one stuff. I don't mind spending political power on that stuff. Drastic measures, primitive radio. Um, it's a little ahead of time there. Construction speed, yes, please. Naval stuff doesn't really matter too much to me. But our salvage electronics increase power production. Generators are both a blessing and a curse. They create large amounts of power for relatively low maintenance costs, but they often require specific fuel cells and are difficult to redesign to run off of corn fuel. Investing in power generation will always benefit our equipment output, but we've got, got a couple comments such as the focus, like, uh, let's see, the folks over here, they declare war on the Yakima as they may be the winner of the Washington power struggle, and it's generally easier, apparently, to code a focus that declares on both or whichever wins a struggle. I guess that makes sense. I was complaining, like, why do we go to war with the Yakima at the same time, but, oh well. Ooh, and these guys are almost done. They got everything they need. Cool. Someone says, Ever since the big update of Old World Blues, I've yet to see the Washington brother win a single time against the tribes out of the certain, not, certain amount of games that he's played. Um, so, yeah. I don't see them winning very often anymore either. Someone says, There's a Hoi formal called The Coming Storm, which starts in 1905. Can you try this at a Russian Empire? Eh, maybe eventually, if I remember, if I've, if I've got enough time. Um, we're definitely not ready to go to war with these guys, though. Um... I'm going to create a few more divisions. These divisions themselves are only 10 combat width, which means we would get smashed immediately. How long would it take for us to justify again? 105. Well, let's give him a loan. Someone says, thanks for playing this faction as I waited for a long time. Someone says, please do another second Sengoku gameplay. Yeah. We could try that as well sometime. So. Overall, not bad. As we are going to probably just honestly wait a little bit off screen. So we'll do increase power production. Fueling a rise, or f yeah, fuel comes in all forms, but often our scavenging prior search for the nuclear variety. Unspent fuel cells are incredibly valuable to everyone in the wastelands, but especially to us. The power struggle. Uh, the power, and I mean our power. They power our power armor, our gathering lasers, and our generators. Securing them is a high priority for all scouts. Advanced tech. Gathering further te uh, rare technology is not only difficult but often dangerous. Uh, the locations where rare pre-war technology can be found are also filled with killer robots, deadly radiation, or other hazards. So gathering advanced tech will allow us to create numerous high-end pieces of equipment. So it must be done. Civilian workshops. Many of the bunkers and bases we seek to occupy were not left untouched by the Great War, and they require extensive repairs and excavation efforts to become fully usable. To ensure that we are prepared for future construction efforts, we should begin to develop a small industrial base of our own. Arms foundries. We cannot spread and uphold our doctrines about force, and we cannot apply force effectively if we are under-supplied. As the brother is a continuous operation, we must not only take technology from the hands of settlers, but produce it ourselves. And here we are at everybody, we've gone to war with the troll worn, and we're doing some heavy production too. With the civilian and military industry projects finished, we're seeing our efforts pay off of hand of our fist. In order to continue to foster success and fuel our growth, we should launch a second smaller construction effort, focusing on a mixture of both branches. Alongside this, we can set up infrastructure for future efforts too. Um, let's go with Western conscripts. Westerners are a dime a dozen with little special, unique things about them, often short sighted, brutish, and often too simple to understand the dangerous technology. We we'll often avoid them like the plague, still. Sometimes new bloods require them. At times like these, we hunt the population for worthy candidates, often accepting proven and friendly voice centers into our ranks. Ooh, they really want to beat us up here. It's not good, but, you know, whatever. Let's go over here. Okay. Now, we have a volunteer from the Western, or Lost Hills chapter. It's not bad. But they're causing us to overextend our line a little bit, which is not great. Make sure these guys. We can go to everyone for the war machine if we really wanted to. We don't really have to, though. I might just say to get the senior knights or go to scribes because we don't need as much empire right now as we really have, and it gives us, I guess, one percent more. But still, oh, that actually went towards someone else. My look, say. Eh? Nice. So we might want to wait for that stuff. Oh, that's really not good. 
Oh, that's actually quite bad for us, actually. Well, time to go in. This is the power armor, at the very least. Uh, we're doing okay, man. Damage. Because this is going to extend our front line, and that's not good. Oh, darn it. Yeah. Flesh before steel. The flesh is weak, it is a common phrase with a vastly different meaning to others than us. In the Brotherhood, this phrase is said to express and accept that the human body is frail. Even with our power armor, we're still human, and unless the body inside the armor has been trained properly, uh, it'll die off long before the armor breaks. All initiates are trained to understand this. Weakness is human. And we don't want to be weak. I may? Yeah, we'll save it for train traits. That would be for the best. This ability is just so low. But we do have 15 divisions here. After these guys, uh, for fun, we might just go to War of the Timberline. That'll be fine with me. Are they leaving or going somewhere? Also, these guys are 18 combat with now with anti tank. So this is not bad. This is not bad. Kind of a mess, but not bad. Killed a, quite a few of them off. So far, at least. Can you Gnome Skulls help out, you stupid... As soon as I stop, then you start attacking, you bunch of ding-dongs. We'll get there. It's grinding a lot of army XP first. All oh, right. You get seven percent more stability, which is actually pretty nice. You lose three percent group population, but you get three percent more organization too, which is not bad. Org is pretty helpful. Go ahead and help them out there. If you can, of course. Church of the Silo. You guys, we will balloon you up a little bit more. We want another thing, power armor. If you can, we don't need more power armor. I like power armor. Who doesn't like power armor? Just some people don't. Basic arms for the basic people. Even wastelanders recruited into our ranks cannot be expected to understand technology as well as we do. In order to prevent any unfortunate accidents, we provide wasteland recruits with simpler energy weapons so they've proven themselves capable. Naturally, this means we produce and salvage many weapons ahead of time for new recruits. Which just makes sense. I'll start attacking from this side, too. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. 22 and a half. 20 combo width is okay. We'll see how big I can make them actually in the end. Oh, you guys didn't even have orders. See what you can do. Power armor can't be expected to do everything. At least for now. Uh, at the same time, we did core quite a few more places. Not a bunch, but quite a few more. Uh, oh my goodness, this would be a good, good one to core. 143, that's not bad still. Nice. How many divisions do they have in total? I've got 39. How much manpower do they have? Probably quite a bit. 1,000 to 2,000. It's not bad. Alright, so now at this point, let's go ahead and just make this a normal line. <coughs> Excuse me. Very nice, very nice. Um, keep making more stuff here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, bit of a coffin boy. Hopefully we don't get encircled here. 
As long as swords can move fast enough, they won't, but you never know. Come on, guys. Hmm. 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 Well, crap. Are you kidding me? Brosif. You're not going to die there. Yeah, I don't think at this point we can do that, so... Yeah. Launch full-scale attack at this point. And we got a whole trop lane. <clears throat> no! Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? All right, we're done. We're done being nice to them. We are absolutely done. Flash before steel. This arms for basic people. Now they're doing force attack too. Come on. We're done messing around with these guys. These puke eaters got to die. We lost a thousand. That's so stupid. And this is technically the bigger boss that we'll have to fight than the Washington Brotherhood. I'm gonna go in here. Lost Hills, what are, what are you doing? Son, just what are you doing? Oh, wait, what? How do we get Lost Hills? Oh, not Lost Hills. Those people stuff. Actually, do we have any more. Oh, we're out of guns. That's not good. We need more water. I was going to grab that first. Yeah, keep attacking, see what happens. For you guys, you're rooted, which is good. Go awareness, because you're going to have uh, recon on them, anyways. Go throw even more recon on the recon. Because. Support equipment. Fire teams. I'm gonna have a lot right now, but they will have some eventually. Doctrinal thought? Well, with new blood comes new ideas. So Wastelanders sink and fight a different way to the Brotherhood. And this experience often proves valuable for the Brotherhood as a whole. By making a Wasteland initiates composed reports of their previous battles, we can examine them to gauge the state of the Wasteland and prepare accordingly. T45D production. <clears throat> this was the first model of power produced by America, and it shows. A simple frame, lackluster servos, exposed weak points, and a less than impressive helmet design. Still, many pow any power armor is still better than none, and simplicity makes it faster to fix and produce. T51B production. The pinnacle pre-war power armor design of the T51B model is a favorite among the brother of steel for its robust design, cheap ceramic armor. Lack of clear weak points and expertly crafted helmet filters. Although hard to maintain and produce, there is no doubt that the T-51B is superior to the T-45D in every single way.
And here we are at everybody, in which we are getting really good at where the Timberline, then we'll focus probably more on the North. But I got some focuses to read first, like combine operations. Learning to fight alongside former wastelanders can be difficult. The wild survival smith or minded style of combat can be often be hectic and unpredictable. It's precisely why recruiting them can be so valuable, and why fitting them into our c command structure is so beneficial. The wild, unpredictable nature only makes our squad more effective than before, supposedly. Aerial operations. Flexibility is something our organization often lacks. In order to account for our weaknesses, we must turn them into strengths. In the vast past, vast expeditions have been undertaken with the aid of aerial equipment. We can learn from this. Staging grounds, or staging bases. Aircrafts are oversized paperweights without the proper facilities to maintain and arm them, and have open space to take off and land. If we want to develop an effective air force, we need to scout for ideal locations to create airfields, and we'll do just that. And let's do it from the skies as well. Although we possess a knowledge of retrofit the most basic of aircraft, we have no knowledge on how to pilot them in combat or how to utilize them tactically. We should turn into our database and adapt to as much information on pre-war air tactics as we can. And aerial supremacy. With a new understanding of aerial combat, we can begin to redesign our planes with a wasteland in mind. Cutting corners where possible saves a lot of production time and valuable resources, both of which are in scarce supply currently. We should be able to go to war soon, and that war against Troll Warner is not great. Yeah, we got five days left, which is pretty good. We're still building up a bigger, 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 bigger industry, converting everything to crowd control gear, um, resource efficiency gain, because we were lacking water for a while, and I can tell we're going to lack water eventually as well. So other than that, we need more here, we need more stuff here, scavenge power armor, well, we need to probably increase what type of power armor we already have. Um, nice, there we go. 18,000, huh? Well, I guess this will be next. 170 is kind of expensive, but whatever. Get ready to go. And we're going to vamoose and probably try to kill them off as fast as possible. You guys are going to struggle a little bit. There's a very wide line. And you guys will do fine. I'm not too worried about you guys. Let's go with defense for this time. Let's see. Special forces? Yeah. Research, 13 days, not bad. Nice. Don't attack here because we're still lacking a lot of like demo teams, equipment, and stuff like that, so. Sure, Lost Tales, just don't screw us up too much. There you go. Well, I guess you guys can go in too. You're going to struggle on this front line here, but. You know, they got no one around there. That's okay with us. The apocalypse, eh? A long time. From the skies, maybe soon do that one. Maybe we'll just go ahead and do consolidate the pipeline. But push your north, we can further our hold in the Alaskan pipeline, building the infrastructure that will one day lead to the fulfilling of Maxon's ideals. Not a bad idea. And we're done with the land auction too now. Damage being done. Not enough. Oh wow, we just cut straight through them. Nice. Walla walla. Very good. Yeah, overall not bad. Oh, we're actually losing here, huh? Not for long. I'm gonna force the attack. We're gonna go insane. Nice. Sure, why not? He's more worse part as well. And they're doing force defense. Well, that's gonna kill everybody else off, so. Um, here, here. How have we lost more divisions than they have? More manpower than they have? Have we not eliminated divisions? Yeah, that literally makes no sense to me. Because we can pierce these guys. We should be able to easily pierce them. Yeah, we, we can do the skies and then consolidate the pipeline because we can. Let's go right here and circle them, guys. Come on. Guys, oh my god. The, the mod's so laggy, it's not even funny anymore. It's really bad how laggy it's gotten. Guys, go in. Jesus. There you go. Nice.
Are we losing? How are we losing? I mean, yeah, we're on refined warfare, but still. Um, heavyweight. We're on melee hacked already. That made no sense whatsoever. Well, it's that time again, and uh, for us to uh, probably beat the crap out of the apostles now. But luckily, we do have not the cipher. Well, crap! I thought we had the cipher, Ben. Oh well, let's see what we can do. So far, not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'm hopefully, going to abuse them just a little bit. There's no point doing this unless you abuse them, so... Don't quote me on that one. Or on scribes. I might go down to knights. For even slightly more attack. More stability. More... Uh, not more organization, unfortunately. But we're going to core more stuff first. That is the goal. God, we have like, no political power still. Ugh. Should do alright here. Infantry is really... I keep forgetting how squishy infantry really is. But we're doing a very good amount of damage, though. Which is very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Look at all the military factories, and we can consolidate the pipeline. And now we're going to go in this one too, and uh, Brother Flight Academy. Uh, pilots are the lifeblood of an air force. Our plan and our pilots need to make effective use of our limited supply of planes, ammo, and equipment. Establishing a thorough training program for pilots will not only make a better use of our equipment, but may provide us with a genuine ace. Ace it up. All right, let's get some more range as well. Hey, good job, guys. You actually made an encirclement. Which is exactly what we wanted earlier. So we did it. Oh, wow. That division, those special forces, gave literally everything they had. Good job. Thanks for dying for us. But as you can tell, I don't really care about manpower losses. We're doing more than fine with no man... With plenty enough manpower. Good job. And I always do stability, just because it gives 25 political power. War sport's not bad, but... Stability, I think, is the way to go, really. Not it for them yet, huh? There it is. Got a lot of my lurks. So now, these big boys up here. How are we going to deal with these big old boys? What are we going to do? They might naval invade us, so. We're going to do this as well. We'll do this here too. Just in case. You guys can train. You guys can train. But you don't really need, actually need it. And there we go, too. Ooh, we came in flames. Goodbye. Um, we need way more armor, though. Yeah, and that are looking okay for most things. No. You know what? Let's finish up these lines. We're going to get more military factories. That'd be good. So we are lacking something fierce. Unless you think we can break over the river real quick. Because as long as we can break over the river, that's all I really care about. Not that many divisions. Quite a bit of manpower. Let's get our uh, power armor in the first. Because that'll be good. Now the power armor up here. A lot of planes too, so. Uh, Blair Flight Academy. We just got some dude over here. Come on, y'all. Um... Organization. Let's grab you. Well, let's see what happens. What do you force the attack to begin? Are these few? Oh, that's good. Keep in place. Should have this one earlier, but whatever. Alright, and go right there, too. It just keeps them in place. I don't really care about winning there. Come on. Did we break over? Nice. Very, very good. <coughs> Actually, just go right there and circle them. Uh oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Which is actually incredibly stupid by them, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, 
here. Do they go to witness? How are they not dying yet? I thought some of the power armor down, down here too, but... Jesus Christ. You know what? You're done. You're flipping done. You know what? Screw it. I'll send you guys down there. They have the numbers for this, so... There you go. Yeah, supremacy's nice. Crack their heads open. That'd be good. Crack their heads even more. Good. Good. How many divisions we got left? Up to 27. Uh, you got... I want to actually send you all the way up to... There. That'd be nice. Nice, 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 nice. And once these guys are taken care of, we will go ahead and just... Have a solid front line. Cool. Not bad. Ah, uh, more, huh? Wait, what are you doing in the water? No! Walk! <laughs> they are insane. A little ahead of time, that's okay with us. Come on. So far, so good. Because we've been defeated. Force it. There we go. See? They lost all those divisions now for no reason. And that's super nice. History repeats itself. Good. Nice. My god, it's slow going though. It's definitely slow going. How much money do we have? 123? Yeah, go Now we'll do it like this. One solid front line all the way to the top. Did I not? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I did not use that. That's bad. That's my bad. That's my fault. Ooh, they're forcing it? Ooh, we can force the infantry, but we're going to force the power on to do this. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. Long range radio, nice. You, I like that one on the left side a little bit more than the other one. Um, yeah, loss are going to should just drastically increase after they did that. I think they have enough map out, don't they? Yeah, they got 2,000 still left. Why are you down there? There you go. Yeah. Keep two online all the time now for military factories. That'd be good. Yeah, I mean, fighting up in this area sucks too, but whatever. Do you have air superiority? Not a lot. Do have some, though. Don't grab that too, just in case. Ah. Oh. Well, they won't do that. We'll play the game with them. They're going really radically out. And we're going to lose a lot of guys, but like I said, manpower does not matter. Drop tanks, more range is good. Betty's doing all right. Let's go six attack, and whereas we're quite quickly moving around through here, which is nice. All right, technological study. Replicating the electrons of the pre-war is a difficult task, even for the simplest of designs. If we want to have any hope of reliably, reliably recreating somewhat advanced designs, we need to dissect our precious few working pre-war models, examine the inner workings. It's painful, but unless we can figure out the secret behind these things, it'll be we'll be forever in the dark. And no one wants to be in the dark, especially alone. 
subscribe research. Pushing your scribes to towards longer research projects will inevitably reward us. Prioritizing long term study and self reflection should make the results more accurate, and having scribes accompany the scouting squad should make them much more capable of investigating the pre war sites. Scribes are the backbone of the brother, we must continue to hone their skills. Oh, look at that now. That's nice. That's the type of damage we want. Uh, since we're here, I guess we should have gotten more offense, but whatever. Should have got that one earlier. Oh well. Apparently, I'm not very, playing very optimally, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, get more recovery rate for those guys. Uh, help them out. 1,000 losses versus 3,000 ain't too bad. Tantalus is pain. Did they invade us again? No. Looking pretty good. What would the Brotherhood should look like? At least the Northwestern one. Steal some tech. Go in here. And wrap them all up in a big old sandwich if you can. The sandwiches sound nice. Still locking on. We got plenty of guns though. Infantry armor is still a big thing for us though. Come on, come on. We gotta get a big sandwich, and we got a big sandwich. You're not allowed to lose. Nice. Twelve divisions encircled, trapped, and our soldiers are not allowed to die. Commander, I want to die. Nope. Not today. Slight channel attack. Get some radar, because you can. Of course, they're on a mountain, so... Ooh! We did break their tactics. And they're slowly dying away. Keep up the pressure. They've lost almost all of their army already. And that's a beautiful thing. That's why I went big to go big and around. Now that's good. 7200. 3 to 5 divisions left. It's not the love. Lost Hills, what are you doing? What do you want, Lost Hills? No, you don't help us out? Okay. Scan just found something. Hey, not bad. Virtual decryption. Watch out for speeds. Keep going, keep going. There are two divisions here. They should do okay. And I'm really just artillery. Uh, Cass. Going. I'd rather core more stuff for now. We ain't got that much Cass. All developments. Pre-war technology is inherently valuable, even if it's broken and only pure scrap. Scattering or scaring. Scouring. Uh, Pre-war ruins for undiscovered rare technology, whether broken or somewhat working, it's important for the part of the Brotherhood's operations in the wasteland. Recon support is very nice to get, actually. Scrap bikies. Bikey bikies. Oh. Oh, we already have one on here. My bad. You are struggling so much down here for literally no reason. It's only a mountain, guys. Come on. Just climb the mountain. That's all. Four divisions left. Not bad. Come on. Can you go all the way up there too? Just taking a little bit of time. But I think this will be the last nation we take out. I don't see any, other, any point taking out all the other nations. We've pretty much done whatever we can here, so... Um, yeah, we can't do this one, Gamoran's Legacy or Eastern Expansion, but finalize ATA uh, Mark II Research. ATA Mark II, an evolution of the design of the power armor of the Midwest chapter, was a recent invention of power armor technology made through. A knowledge gained from a brief liaison with the Montana chapter. Now that we've dealt with the immortal, immortal 
the prospect of continuing development of this armor has opened up. Which I don't think will actually will get done in this, uh, this campaign, but I mean, what else is there to do? Except conquer everybody else. And I'm not going to ever do that again. Well, actually, that's a lot. I will do it again. But I don't want to do it for a very long time, because I've done that before, and good god, it gets grindy, and it's not fun. And we're almost there. Take them BPs, son. Take the BPs. Oh my god, are you flipping kidding me? You're going to force this attack, you son of a gun. I said you're going to have to win. Um. Oh, we already got it. That's what I thought. Nice. Where are you, son? Where are you going? No. Oh my God! This is so incredibly stupid. <sighs> Fighting up here is one of the worst things ever. Get your butts up here now. This is dumb. This is incredibly stupid. It should not be this difficult to take out that one god dang division. Come on, move your... Where are you going? Get up here. That's pathetically bad. Why well, don't trust infantry ever? Do not let them get any more organization. Don't care how tired they are. Don't care how injured they are. Thank God. Jesus Christ. That's so stupid. I don't care at this point. Just take it for the love of God. Where'd they go? Oh, this way. How long does it take you to get in there? Thank God. Jesus Christ. That's so stupid. I hate Broken Coast. I hate fighting up here so much. But, that's pretty much going to be it for us uh, here. Um, so, other than that, yeah, if you want to do this, please go ahead and please do this if you like this one too. But, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.